Welcome to Bruticlad, Telcore Engineer. Now, as far as your opening hand goes, yeah, I, I like this. It's pretty good. Uh, I'd like to have a few more lands, but we can definitely make this work. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep on this. We've got Mana Vault. I'm going to lead off with a uh, Mimic and Vat sometime soon, and Arcane Denial to kind of hopefully keep uh, Muldrotha in check for just for a little bit. But yes, welcome to some Bruticlad, and I hope you're excited to get some wonderful tokens on the battlefield. We're playing Bruticlad, Telcore Engineer. Creature tokens you control have haste. Then, at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 2 1 blue mirror artifact fat creature token then we have our tokens become a copy of whatever token we want until uh yeah just basically forever so we'll see what sort of fun stuff we get on the battlefield see we draw into draw into trail of evidence which is gonna be a really good way for us to really start getting some of those clue tokens so i like that um let's lead off with the sulfur well i think it's technically doesn't matter so we'll just go and lead off with the mountain we have no double blue in the hand uh, let's go mana vault and then anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. Playing against Muldrotha, the Grave Tide. During each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. And that's going to be artifacts, it's going to be creatures, that's going to be lands. Uh, pretty much anything that's going to stick around on the battlefield or is a permanent. Uh, Muldrotha is going to let you, uh, oh, get hit by t him to Turok. That happens. Uh, <laughs> not going to, uh, yeah, not, not going to pay for Mana Vault's ability. And I think we go for a pretty quick, uh, well, we have to wait until next turn to go for that. Oh, there we go. Hit the land. Let's get down Sulphur Falls, and then we're simply just going to go and pass the turn, because we're going to use this Mana Vault to get down Bruticlad and start working towards some of those uh, some of those Mirror Tokens and end up having some pretty good fun. Now, the good thing is we do have Mimic Vat on, uh, in our hand. So once we get down Mimic Vat, once that creature dies, we get to exile that. Uh, that's going to give us, ooh, we're going to be hit with a Wasteland. <sighs> hmm... Okay, that's going to get it on that one. And unfortunately, that Wasteland is going to be really hard to beat with Muldrotha, especially once they get that down. So uh, we'll still be able to get down Island. Uh, not going to pay for Bane of Alt. And let's see what we draw into. Draw into Skull Clamp. Okay, so we get down Island. And I guess at this point, we still just kind of leave up Arcane Denial. Yeah, that's going to be at least some sort of hard answer for what we've got going on. Uh, but yes, we did cover both commanders. Let's give a quick shout out to our sponsors, MTGO Traders. If you want to get into some commander online, they will definitely be able to help you out. And card prices are uh, pretty low at this point right now on Magic Online. And also, let's give a quick shout out to InkedGaming.com. If you're in the market for a custom playmat, uh, they've definitely got you covered. Uh, use coupon code JOLT to get 10% off your order and have out the channel at the same time. So let's see what our opponent's going to be tapping out for. Well, maybe. Maybe they're going for, because we one, two, three, four, five, six. They would have to have one more colored source if they're going to be going for Muldrotha. And that looks like that's might have what they've been going for. So um, keep our fingers crossed that we do hit the lane drop for the turn. And I still think we need to leave up an Arcane Denial. That way we're not staring down another Wasteland. All right, Inventor's Fair, we'll, we'll definitely take that. Uh, let's get that down. Let's go Skull Clamp. Yeah, because if, the, if they hit the land for drop for the turn, that, that's uh, we want to be able to stop Muldrill to send her back to the command zone and uh, fight this wasteland off as, as long as possible. But getting Skull Clamp is a wonderful draw for the deck because once we finally do get down Brood to Clad, that's going to put us in a position where we can basically just kind of keep clamping those creatures and uh, really maintain some really nice card draw. And then once we do get down Trail of Evidence, that'll also allow us to Tormod's Crypt. Yeah, that's, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of action going on in the graveyard. Uh, we are perfectly fine with that. Now, so our opponent did hit another colored source, so let's see if they're going to end up going for Muldrotha. Uh, we'll go for this Arcane Denial, and then we'll Windmill Slam Brood to Clad down uh, next turn. Ooh, opponent's going to go for Gurik, Apex Predator. Okay, um, let's go Arcane Denial on that one, because I feel like we, we definitely need to stop that. Um, because if we try to end up going for Brood to Clad, it's just going to be... We have to have Brood to Clad on the battlefield for this to... Res uh, if we have any chance of getting some good skull clamp. Uh, so we're going to have the Arcane Denial trigger, uh, Main of Vault trigger, and then we're also going to draw a card. So let's see what we draw into. Draw into Mountain. Definitely take that. And then we're not going to pay for Main of Vault because you're on tap, buddy. We don't have to worry about that. And they're drawn to Care Keep. So let's go for Mountain. Let's get down Brutaclad. That's going to be one, two, three. And at this point right now, that's going to leave us up just enough mana to go for that Skull Clamp off that Mirror Token, which is exactly what we want to do. So, um, we're gonna, yes, we're just, uh, no. I messed up last video. I, I made a copy of Emrakul, and I had that Mirror Token become a copy of another Mirror Token, and I felt really silly after that. So <laughs> I'm really careful on what we choose to select with Brutal Cloud. Let's go Skull Clamp on Mirror. 
It's going to allow us to draw two more cards. There we go. Now we're getting a hit on some land drops. So if our opponent does want to end up getting down uh, Madrotha and going for that Wasteland, they certainly can. At least we do have Spire Bluff Canal to go for that. And then once we do get down Trail of Evidence, that'll allow us to get a few more clue tokens. And uh, really at this point, all we need to do is get down some sort of value creature from our opponent. And once we get that down, um, that we'll, and we can find some sort of copy spell, that'll allow us to... Uh, end up with some really nice mirrors uh, but yes we covered commanders covered sponsors it's free time we can have some fun now as far as the new cards of the deck we did add spell swindle uh, opponent goes for a hero's downfall that's go for it uh, we did add spell swindle which is going to allow us to um end up with a lot of clue tokens on the battlefield um not clue tokens excuse me treasure tokens so once we get those treasure tokens going um that really makes it easy for us to kind of choose those to become a copy of uh Brutoclad because that's the cool thing about Brutoclad is that um yeah let's go and untap mana vault I think we're good with that we don't really have a whole lot of action in the hand we got that trail of evidence hit and uh untap mana vault and then fairy artisans which is exactly what we were kind of needing so let's get down a spire bluff canal and we're going to go and pass the turn over to our opponent so we're playing against a pretty heavy uh heavy control build of madrota uh we got to see thought seize pretty quick we saw a uh him to turok pretty quick and we also saw a wasteland so that is uh Definitely kind of wading into the competitive build of Maldrotha. So we'll see if we can't survive this or at least get some sort of fun going on the battlefield. But for some reason, I've been trying to record Brutoclad today, and I've just been running into the meat grinder. It's like, I make a copy of Maldrotha. Oh, not Maldrotha, but the uh, Emrakul. Then I make a, make a mistake off that. We run into another land. So it's been... Uh, it's been pretty brutal today. So, and the only downside about Wasteland is that they're going to be able to keep going for that Wasteland option, which is not going to be uh, a lot of fun for us. So, it's going to be Mana Vault, and that's going to be Reman. Um, let's get the let's get Brutoclad pop back up, and uh, pretty much it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do need to get down the land drop. That's going to be Dark Steel Citadel. Yeah, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's going to be pretty much all of our mana for Brutoclad. But I think at this point, it's pretty much what we're going to have to go for. I mean, it's going to leave us open for a Gurk Apex Predator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which I can certainly go for. I feel like we need to have some sort of remand if we're going to do that. Yeah, let's go for Mimic Vat. Not super wild about this particular play, but um, we need to leave Remand up. We need to get some sort of tempo play to stop our opponent on this one. And then uh, hopefully we can still get down Brutoclad and keep it protected. Uh, but basically, with the core concept of the deck is once we get these Mirror Tokens on the battlefield, once we get these Treasure Tokens, these Clue Tokens, uh, we're going to use something like Fairy Artisan to make a copy of one of our opponent's creatures and turn all of them into some really fun creatures. So that's... Uh, that's what we've got going on. So hopefully we can survive this um, Maldrotha Swamp business. Uh, let's go for Reman on that Gurk Apex Predator. I'm going to send that back to the hand. All right, so we draw into a Braid. Now with a Braid, we can destroy target artifact. We can actually blast that Mana Crypt. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can't remember. I think Gurk is 8 mana, but we'll probably end up using this Braid on Mana Crypt if we need to. All right, so we've got a Maldrotha swinging in for 6. That's going to put us down to 24. And then we're not going to pay for this Mana Vault trigger. Nope, we are good. And then see what we rip into. Rip into a mountain. So let's go Care Keep, because that way we can still at least kind of maintain some sort of tokens. And let's go and go for this Abray. Destroy Target Artifact on that Mana Crypt. And then we go Fairy Artisans, since we basically have nothing else to go for. So uh, we're going to get down Fairy Artisans, and that's going to leave an open Mana Vault. And once we get down the Land Drop next turn, depending on what we draw into... That'll still finally leave us the opportunity to go for Brutoclad. We're looking at three from Mana Vault. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, duh. They can just straight up play it out of the graveyard. But at least that still kind of kept them off, um, you know, getting another artifact out of the graveyard. I'd rather go for that than see uh, Gurk Apex Predator come down. So uh, once they get that down, we'll see if they want to end up going for Fairy Artisan. Uh, they might end up straight up just going for a plus one beast token. All right, so they're going to blast that. We can still end up going for the Mimic Vat. Yes, We'll certainly use that ability. And then that's something that we can still get down and hopefully kind of uh, stop Madrotha. All right, then no swing in from our opponent. It's just sitting at a 6-6, six, six, so I guess they're a little bit worried about that haste option from our creatures, and they end up popping that Tormont's Crypt too. So we got the Mana Vault trigger. It's going, uh, not going to pay for that Mana Vault ability. And then Dak Faden. So what we can do is we definitely want to get down Mountain. We go Dak Faden, gain control of Mana Crypt. 
or if we want to dig, we can certainly get a little bit more action going. Yeah, well, actually, after we end up going Dak Fade and draw two cards, discard two cards, and this, we're just going to go down on cards. It's not going to do us any good. I was I was thinking about going for Dak Faden, but I think at this point, if we end up going Brutaclad, they're not going to have enough for Gurk Apex Predator, and that also puts us in a position where we can go Mimic Vat. Yeah, let's do this. So let's go for Brutaclad. That's going to be one, two, three. And then we'll tap down on Dark Steel Citadel. So we're gonna at least getting down Brood Clan. Um, unfortunately, we can't go for that Mimic Vat, but we probably end up going for um, Click No. Yeah, I think we just end up going Skull Clamp. That way we can just cash in some heart, uh, card draw. So we go uh, Skull Clamp on Mere Token. And that's gonna be Cackling Counterpart and Expansion and Explosion. Okay, now with Explosion, that's definitely a way that we can deal with Gurk Apex Predator. In fact, let's see how much mana we've got if we end up going for that. So we're going to need about seven mana um, to take care of Gurk Apex. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we end up hitting the land drop for the turn, that will keep us open for the explosion part uh, to deal with Gurk. But once again, we're in that position where we're playing against Moldrotha, and they can just recast it out of the graveyard. This is what makes Moldrotha so hard to beat, is that their graveyard effectively becomes a uh, second hand. You know, it's just a recurring... You saw where I went for a braid on Mana Crypt, and then they just popped it right back out of the graveyard. I completely forgot about it. So, uh, that's one of the downsides to that, is that it's just... Um, you know, unless we're just running something like Relic of Progenitus, it's just really hard to beat uh, against Voltrotho. So we're going to try our best on this one. We've still got Dak Faden to go for that uh, minus two. Uh, we can gain control of any sort of artifact our opponent gets down. And also we can go for the plus one now that we have a few more cards in the hand. Kind of dig a little bit deeper. And we'll see if we can kind of dodge this uh, Apex Predator. Yeah, because I'd like to put some pressure on that. But with the minus three, that's going to leave us completely open to um, them going for that for Brutoclad. At least we can still put it under Mimic Vat if we wanted to. And then they're going to go for Nyssa, uh, Untapped Target Land. It becomes a 5-5 five, five Elemental with Haste. Okay. So we got the Mana Velt Trigger. Not going to pay for that. And that's going to be one damage. We draw into... Ooh. Draw into River's Rebuke. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so how do we want to sequence this to where we get the maximum effect? That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, that's going to be us completely tapping out for that. But that is something that we can work towards. Now, here's the deal do we want to end up going for. Yeah, because I think we end up going Rivers Rebuke. That's going to send Ancient Tomb back to the hand. That's going to be the land drop. That's going to be them recasting Maldrotha. Yeah, I think we just go for this. So let's get. Um... Yeah, let's go Rivers Rebuke up top. That's going to be blue. If we don't win this game, at least we're going to make them earn the win. So we're going to go for Rivers Rebuke, send everything back. Um, that's still going to leave Ancient Tomb on the battlefield. And we'll still get ourselves a uh, blue mirror token. Uh, click no on this. And we're not going to swing in with Brood of Clad and then anything else. We're going to go and pass the turn back over to our opponent. So, uh, thankfully, that's going to get them reset. They're going to have to either go for Moldrotha. They're going to have to go for Gurk, Apex Predator, Blast, Brood of Clad. That kind of gives us an opportunity to kind of reset with Cackling Counterpart. Maybe deal some sort of with Gurk with Explosion. But once again, they can just basically <laughs> recast it again. Now, once we end up getting down... You know, we do have an active Mimic Vat. We get down Fairy Artisans. Uh, we can go for Cackling Counterpart. This can allow us to make a copy of one of our creatures. So if we get something good on the battlefield, at least we can go for Cackling Counterpart and uh, get that going. But at this point right now, we're just... <laughs> we're clawing on with Brutoclad's little claw fingers to hopefully kind of survive this one. And yeah, and then with Mimic Vat... And then Exile at the beginning of the next end step. So I guess we just go ahead and have this go to the Exile Zone... And for three mana, we can basically just recast. That's basically our only way to go for that. Yeah. So let's have Brutoclad go to the Exile instead of the Command Zone. And then I guess we're, we need to have it go to the Graveyard too. Yeah. All right. So we click that. That should go back under Mimic Vat. There we go. Yeah, we did that right. All right. So whenever it dies, we're going to have it go back to... Yes, we're going to use that ability. Exile that. That's going to go underneath Mimic Vat. So that way, we at least have a little bit of a cheaper option to get Mimic Vat, uh, get Brutoclad on the battlefield, still get an extra token to tag along. Because honestly, with Brutoclad, we just need it during our upkeep. That's all we really need it for, or at least during our, the beginning of our attack step. At this point right now, uh, we do have an open mirror token that can swing into uh, Gurik too, which is definitely going to be really good for us, too. So let's see what we draw into. And if we're feeling festive, we can go Dak Faden on Mana Crypt. So we're not going to pay for Mana Vault at this point right now. Ooh, we drawn to our own Mana Crypt. All right. Um, okay. 
So we go for a three mana activation off Mimic Vat. That's going to be us swinging in. Man, we might be able to go for an expansion win. Yeah, let's give that a shot. All right, so it's going to be one, two, three. Yeah, so we get down uh, Brood of Clad. We're going to get a copy of Brood of Clad. It's going to be an extra 2-2, two, two, and we're not going to have it become a copy of Brood of Clad. So let's go and swing in Mere Token at Gurik, uh, Brood of Clad swinging in at our opponent, and then uh, Mere Token swinging in at our opponent. So we've got uh, Gurik, we've got up top, we've got up top. Okay, so it's going to be 6, it's going to put them down to 17. And then let's go, Dak Faden. And we're going to gain control of their Mana Crypt. And since we're not just running into, well... We did see some sort of hand disruption. Yeah, I think yeah we need this on the battlefield pretty bad. So let's go Mana Crypt. Let's go and put um, one of these Skull Clamps on Demir. Because, yeah, we just want to cash in as much card draw as possible. This, at this point in the game, that's what we have to do. So we're going to draw two more cards. Uh, we do end up getting down the land drop for the turn. Let's get down Flooded Strand. And let's go one more off of this Mirror Token. Draw a couple more cards. Right of Replication. Okay. All right, then anything else, and then we have to exile that. And whenever it dies, that's where we end up getting that trigger from. Okay, so anything else? No, we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. So they are down to 17. Uh, we do have Brutoclad coming out of the Mimic Vat that we can target our opponent. Um, as far as the mana off of Expansion and Explosion, um, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. We probably need to untap Mana Vault. We're going to go over it. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So right now we can ping our opponent for 10 off of Explosion. So we need to get a little bit more action going on our side of the battlefield. But it's possible. Um, the only thing that we do need to watch out for is we do have a little bit of commander damage on us already from our opponent. Um, that is 12 total commander damage. And so um, we need to watch out for that. But thankfully if we can untap with an active uh, Dak Faden, we can at least get a little bit of card draw, kind of filter through some of this, and maybe kind of work our way towards an explosion uh, to deal the damage to our opponent. We are staring down a Frexian Arena too. And if they keep tapping down Ancient Tomb to take that two damage, once we get to 10, I think that'll really help us out. So um, let's go Mana Vault Trigger. We've got double Mana Crypt Trigger. Let's go and choose Tails on this one. Lost the flip. Uh-oh. Let's choose Tails. On the flip, okay, so we're uh, one for two on our Mana Crypt Triggers, and uh, we will be untapping this Mana Vault, because we're going to be going for that explosion. All right, and then we draw to Worn Power Stone. So we get down Polluted Delta. Actually, do this. Let's go for Dak Fade, and Target Player is going to draw a couple cards. Pull from Tomorrow, Shared Animosity. Um, let's discard, at this point, get rid of Steam Vents. And we might, they'll get rid of one Power Stone. Uh, we'll get down Polluted Delta. Let's go for Rite of Replication on Moldrotha. That's going to be blue and then blue. And then we can cast one Power Stone out of the graveyard. Because if we end up getting down one Power Stone, I think that kind of puts us in the range of dealing enough damage to our opponent. And then we've already made the land drop. And then do we want to equip Skull Clamp onto Muldrotha just to cash in a little bit extra card draw? Yeah, I think that's good. All right, it's going to make it a 7-5, and then anything else we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. So we do have a blocker for Muldrotha. Uh, we've got Frexian Arena that's going to deal one damage to our opponent, put them down to 13. Uh, we've got Ancient Tomb, which hopefully will knock them down to 11. As far as mana goes, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, 15, 18. I think that's lethal. All right, so we do have to sacrifice a creature. Unfortunately, we're going to sacrifice Muldrotha. That'll be two more card draw. And uh, is it Signet? At least, thankfully, we do have the land drop. And we'll see if they end up deciding to swing in with Muldrotha. Yeah, they're swinging in for Dak Faden. They want to cut that card draw off. And I think with them not swinging in with Muldrotha, I think we might. Now, this does leave us open to a counter spell. If they tap out, this is going <laughs> to... This is going to feel good. Let's see if we can get this. If they tap down Ancient Tomb, I'm like, oh, please don't let it be like a Cyclonic. If it's a Cyclonic Rift, oh no, one, two, three, five, six, seven. If this is Cyclonic Rift, I'm... <laughs> maybe they wait during our upkeep. If they wait during our upkeep, we can tap all of our mana and do this. this is, maybe it's a Cyclonic Rift during our upkeep. If that's the case... Or no, excuse me, maybe that was during their main phase. All right, so we're going to exile our graveyard. 
They're going to go for Tormod's Crypt out of the graveyard. Okay. They're going to go for another Catacombs Crack that does put them down to 12. So we should have a pretty good chunk of mana. I f Either way, we still got to go for ex Explosion next turn. That's what we have to go for. So we're jamming it. We've got the mana. We've got Warren Power Stone. We have an untapped Mana Vault. Um, the only thing that would just absolutely crush us would be a Cyclonic Rift right now. And that's going to be... F okay, Gurk Apex Predator. That That is good. Uh, that's going to be one mana. So that puts us in like Spell Pierce Range or something like Swan Song. We're going to get a Death Touch token. And then we're, we're going to definitely hit our draw step. That way we can get our lane down for the turn. But this should be an explosion win. And I, oh, I'm pumped about this. Uh, we get the Mana Vault trigger. And actually, let's just kind of double check it. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. That's going to be just enough. I don't think they can gain life gain. But either way, we're not going to lose to double Mana Crypt Trigger. So let's just simply just go and get the land drop down for the turn. Uh, let's go Tails on this one. Because that puts it at right at 13. There we go. Won the Mana Crypt flip. Won the flip. There we go. And then Mana Vault. You, hey, you already paid for a Mana Vault. You don't have to worry about that. And, ooh, we're drawn to a Cyclonic Rift. All right, so we get down to Island, and we're just going to tap out for this wonderful explosion. All right, so deals X damage to our opponent, and then target player draws those cards. So let's let's tap out for this. Okay, so we're going to go explosion for 14. <laughs> yes, we get it. Knock our opponent down to negative two. You can see where we're playing against Maldrotha. We got hit with a Thought Seize very early on. We got hit with the Wasteland. We got hit with the Hymn to Turok, but... Thankfully, with Dak Faden, the greatest, uh, the greatest thief in the multiverse. <laughs> Where are you, Dak Faden? Get up here. Come on, buddy. The greatest thief in the multiverse helps us steal our opponent's mana crypt. We go for an explosion for 14 to knock our opponent down to negative two. Um, we were on the ropes on this game. We had to put Brutal Clad underneath Mimic Vat. And uh, yeah, things were not looking good. And in fact, if you're keeping a score at home, you probably checked that this is not looking good box a bunch of times. But you can see we stay true, and thankfully to Mana Crypt, let's give thanks to Mana Crypt, also to Frexian Arena for attacking our opponent's life total. We got the game. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.